Fallout New Vegas is an old game and runs fine in most computers. However, it has a lot of issues too, which makes the game run extremely poorly in lower end systems. Today, I'm going to cover a number of mods that will improve your Fallout New Vegas performance significantly. Keep in mind, I'm only covering mods here, not config file tweaks. I don't have much knowledge about the different types of tweaks you can do, and it will be better for you to watch someone else's video for that kind of stuff. I have given the link to one of those videos in the description. Also make sure that you have all the essential mods such as New Vegas Script Extender, New Vegas Anti-Crash, JIP LN NVSE, Johnny Guitar, etc. Also make sure to patch your game with 4GB patcher. It makes a huge performance difference in low-end computers. This is my frame rate with no performance mods with only these above mentioned mods. This will be our baseline and we will compare it with the final performance at the end of this video. In Good Springs, we are getting 40 to 45 frames normally and 30 frames during the Dust Devils. In Freeside, we are getting 30 to 50 frames with stutters sometimes, and in the Strip, we are getting mostly 30 to 40 frames with some stutters here and there. Now let's start modding. First install New Vegas Heap Replacer. This mod replaces the game's heap with a faster one. What is heap, you say? Well, as far as I understand, it's some kind of memory management system, but you don't need to know all that. Just install it and it will improve your performance. Zlib, updated by WalsoGB, updates the game's BSA compression, which helps in faster loading and less stutter. Actor Save Bloat Fix reduces your save file size by 10 to 30%. It also results in faster saving and loading. LSTUI AL's engine optimizations rewrites a lot of functions to increase their speed, resulting in better performance. His Tweaks and Engine Fixes mod doesn't really improve performance too much, but adds some essential improvements to the game, as well as adding huge amount of options for you to choose from. Fog-based object culling adjusts your draw distance dynamically using fog, which improves performance without any visual difference. Now with all the technical mods done, let's start with mods with actual visual differences. Performance of the Gods mod disables a lot of references and removes a lot of clutter from the map to help you increase performance. Aqua Performa specifically increases the strip performance by disabling the water LOD. Obsidian, while making the game, made the water bodies in the strip in such a way that all the other water bodies, such as Lake Mead, will also be rendered, which massively reduces FPS. This mod fixes that and results in better performance. Clean Deluxe NV by Joshua does almost the same thing as performance of the Gods mod, but removes even more stuff. The mod author said that he used to get 20 frames before using this mod, but after using this mod, he got like 40 to 45 frames. Clutter Be Gone removes even more clutter and improves performance in various interiors. Better Combat Performance Waste Disposal Edition by Waste Disposal removes the muzzle flashlights and shell casings increasing performance slightly. Combat Lag Fix increases the performance during combat by fixing an engine bug that causes low FPS when enemy health bar is visible. VATS Lag Fix fixes the weird lag that happens sometimes during VATS. It is not really dependent on PC specs, but it's still a good mod to have. Performance for the People by Captain Knuckles adds occlusion planes to various exteriors to improve the performance. What is occlusion plane, I hear you say? Well, it's that thing that does that other thing. Just enjoy the performance, okay? Freeside Barrel Disabler disables all the fire barrels in Freeside, which might or might not increase performance depending on your PC. I must say that with all of these mods, Freeside looks pretty empty. Remove Dust Devils and Whirlwinds removes these effects that causes severe FPS drops and makes the game performance more stable. Free Camp McCarran Performance by Team Blackout increases the performance inside Camp McCarran by doing these things. I am not an expert, okay? But the performance gain is real. Free Camp Golf Performance does similar changes to Camp Golf. Now, if you still can't run the game well, then you might want to try No Gore mod, which removes all the gore from the game. Personally, this is a big no-no for me, because the gore in this is essential, at least for my experience, but if you can't even run the game, then what's the point in having gore anyway? And now let's see our final frame rate. Good Springs FPS has slightly improved. Before we were getting 40 to 45 FPS. Now we are getting mostly 45 to 50 FPS. However, it's way more stable now thanks to the removal of the whirlwinds. The most significant performance gain is for Freeside. Before we were getting like 30 to 50 FPS with stutters. Now all the stutters are gone, we are getting 55 plus FPS constantly. The strip performance improved too. Before we were getting 30 to 40 FPS, and now we are getting 40 plus FPS most of the time. 
the stutters are still present but has reduced significantly. And that was my list for improving performance and stability in Fallout New Vegas with mods. I hope some of you can now play the game with better FPS. If not, try watching the video in the description. It delves deeper in config file tweaks. As always, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.